Time for weather. We're going to trade one thing for another. We're not the. It won't be as hot, but it's going to be a little more sticky, huh? I was thinking the uh, the older women in Miami always saying it's not the heat, it's the humidity. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and growing up in Florida, that's what you hear. And there was a bit of a fog bank. I mean, you could really see yeah, it out today. Out in the distance, you really could. And you yeah. know, they saw that fog inland out towards Santa Maria and Lompoc this morning. We didn't really see it in Santa Barbara, but it's certainly hazy out there in the lower levels of the atmosphere. If you look high up, though, we're seeing some mid and high level clouds. That's moving in from the south. And anytime you see that this time of the year, that usually means the monsoon is shifting out of Arizona and into Southern California. More on those impacts here in just a minute. Looking at temperatures right now, we're at 73 in Gaviota, 66 for Lompoc, 70 in Goleta, and 88 in Paso Robles. Everyone a little bit cooler today for daytime highs, and now at this 6 o'clock hour, 24-hour temperature difference, look at Paso, 12 degrees cooler, 6 degrees cooler for Goleta, and 5 degrees cooler at this hour in the Oxnard area. Winds are also much lighter than what we saw 24 hours ago. We're not expecting to see those sundowner winds surface in southern Santa Barbara County. And in fact, no sundowners all throughout the weekend forecast. Some rain tonight creating some dust storms around the Phoenix metro area. Also seeing some showers out there around Salt Lake City into the Wasatch Mountains. And this is all because of this high pressure ridge. Wherever it moves, it sometimes, if it's far enough to the east, can kick up that southeast flow. And that shift in winds, that's what the monsoon means. A seasonal shift in winds taps into that warm, moist air from either the Gulf of California or the Gulf of Mexico. So it's hot, it's humid, especially inland. But for us, we have relief in terms of your temperature forecast, but that humidity is going to linger this weekend. And in fact, a few showers or storms will be possible, mostly in the inland areas of the southern half of the Golden State. Basically, here locally, we're talking about the thunderstorm possibility out across the mountains. Ventura County, the best bet, but definitely keep an eye on the sky, especially if you're heading into those areas to do some camping or hiking. So tomorrow, partly cloudy and seasonable, 80 apiece in Santa Barbara and Montecito. We'll see 90 tomorrow in San Ynez. Now, the Central Coast, we could see a little bit of fog during the morning hours. Otherwise, we'll see the high clouds increasing through the day. So it will be partly to mostly cloudy at times, but also some peaks of sunshine thrown in there as well. Inland heat persisting in Ventura County, but by the coast, we're talking about some cooler and more comfortable 70s. Low 80s in Santa Barbara through the weekend, but on the humid and muggy side, and then uh, slightly warmer temperatures out there as we head towards next week. Ventura area, how about that? Upper 70s through the weekend. And check out Sandy and Az, Beth and CJ. We're talking about low 90s, but a little hotter for us as we head towards the middle of next week. Okay, okay. mini heat wave.